Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. And as you can see, there are just a ton of dinosaurs sitting right here in front of us today. And these guys are just all sorts of different breeds, all sorts of different species of dinosaurs. And some are definite bootlegs, some are not, or at least not that I know of. I really have no idea. Don't know too much on the origins of these figures, but what I do know is that over the weekend, I was at Walmart just stumbling around looking through the uh, Jurassic World stuff looking at all the cool figures that they have and I happened to go over into the other aisle and noticed some of these guys just sitting there and these are their brand new one dollar dinosaur toys that they have and I know what you're thinking geez a dollar each yeah well they have some of these older ones that have been there for like numerous years that are very similar to these guys but they were really really kinda crap they didn't look very good they uh, had barely any detail really to them, they just really looked like child's toys, and although these ones are quite obviously child's toys as well, they are actually pretty nicely detailed. They uh, kind of impressed me, so I bought a bunch of them. Uh, there were a few I didn't get quite yet, but at one dollar each, I figured this is a great chance to go ahead and repaint some of these guys at some point and see what they look like, and I haven't done that yet but uh, I'm definitely going to. But I did want to make you guys aware of these figures, as I know a lot of people as I post repaint videos have been considering trying to repaint some dinosaur figures of their own, and I think that these figures, with the amount of detail that they do actually have on them, are a great chance for anybody out there to start repainting at a cheap price. So if you want to go ahead and buy a couple of these guys for a buck each at your local Walmart and try painting them, it's a good chance to get something that has some pretty good detail to see how well you can do and try to improve your painting abilities on something that you're not wasting a whole bunch of money on. But regardless, like I said, they actually look pretty nice, so let's take a closer look at them and you can see for yourself. We'll start up here with the Dilophosaurus. And you can see just looking at the head, really, it's pretty nicely sculpted. I mean, the paint itself isn't applied, especially in the teeth area. The teeth are pretty sloppily painted. The paint is just kind of all over the place. But it really doesn't look bad as far as the sculpt goes. And the paint on the frill actually doesn't look that bad. It looks pretty nice. But the paint on the teeth are pretty crap. But regardless, the detail and the sculpt work is pretty darn nice. It really is. There's actually even a gloss on the eye. You can see it shine a little bit. And there appears to be a gloss on the frill here as well. But even the frill, look at the sculpt work on that. That's pretty impressive for being just a random $1 toy at Walmart. You go down the body here. And the sculpt work is, it's not insanely over the top impressive. But for being a random little $1 figure, it's really not bad. Definitely something that would be good to practice repainting on. And I just want to repaint them in general just to see how nice I can make them look. Like I said, with having some pretty decent sculpt work, overall, it's not a bad looking Dilophosaurus. Clearly not an accurate one, but it's really not an ugly one either for something that, like I've mentioned numerous times, only a dollar. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this figure. The paint of the actual figure itself really isn't anything to write home about. There's not too much on it. Uh, the nails don't really have any paint or anything on them at all, but the frill here looks pretty nice at least. But as I mentioned already, I'm only interested in buying these to repaint, and the actual sculpt work and detail is really not bad at all. There's also a Carnotaurus, which is obviously a knockoff of the Schleich Carnotaurus, but somehow when they were uh, bootlegging this guy, they kind of gave him a little bit of a different look to me for some reason. His mouth is like, I don't know, it just kind of looks strange, and I figured, ah, what the heck. I'm buying all these other ones, I might as well rebuy him and uh, try to repaint him as well, just to see what he looks like. They really didn't try very hard to cover up the fact that this guy was a knockoff because he's got the exact same color of paint that the actual Schleich Carnotaurus has. I don't know if this was just an attempt to trick people into thinking that's what they were buying, but it is not. But it is definitely, quite obviously, a knockoff of that figure which means that you definitely get some decent sculpt work and some decent detail work all over the figure, as Schleich normally does not skimp out anywhere as far as the detail of their figures goes. So uh, again, another very cool figure that you could uh, repaint for very cheap, only a buck. They are rubber and they are hollow. You can squish them. So you do have to take that into consideration when you're buying the primer that you're going to use. You want to probably buy an acrylic primer 
so it doesn't get all sticky and weird when you do apply it. Again, something that could definitely be fun to repaint. Then as knockoffs go, we've got a knockoff of the Papo Allosaurus. So they don't discriminate, they just rip off everybody as far as the sculpts go. We've already got a Schleich and a Papo knockoff, and I actually saw there, I don't have them here, but they also had a knockoff of the Papo Spinosaurus as well. So that one's out there floating around also. As you can see that this guy's quite strange looking, honestly, compared to the Papo uh, Allosaurus. For some reason, this little, I don't even know what you want to call it now, on the back of his neck here, they were kind of like, uh, they, it kind of looks like feathers at this point, sticking out of the back of the neck, but they're really high. It almost gives them like a neck crest. But regardless, again, lots of nicely done detail, thanks to Papo, not these guys. But you can see that the teeth are, again, sloppily painted beyond belief. But yet the eyes kind of look alright, as there is a gloss on them. They gave them kind of those snake eyes, those predator eyes, which I don't really like either. But uh, again, I'm not buying this to keep for myself and uh, love and cherish forever. I'm buying it to repaint and keep for myself and love and cherish forever. But the sculpt work again and the detail is not bad. It obviously isn't as good as the actual Papo figure. But for what it is, being in a random little dollar Allosaurus, it is not too shabby at all. The Velociraptor, I don't know where they got this sculpt from. I have absolutely no idea. Kind of like the Dilophosaurus. They don't look familiar to me at all but they still somehow managed to have some decent sculpt work and decent detail. The sickle claw is absolutely gigantically huge for some reason. It is really, really big. It almost uh, ends up looking like a question mark, but the overall sculpt on it doesn't look bad at all. It's not as nice, in my opinion, as some of the others, but it, again, isn't terrible. The eyes are a little bit sloppily painted on this one, and you can see they gave him some nice evil red eyes. Sloppy paint again on the teeth like uh, all of these guys have had a track record of so far. But overall, the detail on it, like I mentioned, is not bad. Kind of an ugly sculpt with the uh, awkward position it's in, and it's a raptor with no feathers, so it's definitely an attempt to cash in on a Jurassic Park-looking raptor, even if it has those gigantic, weird sickle claws. But something that'll probably be pretty fun to repaint but definitely not my favorite of these dollar figures. Then we've got this guy, which I assume is a Stiggy Moloch. I don't really know what else he'd be going for with it. And again, the sculpt work and stuff looks pretty decent. He'll actually be a lot of fun to repaint as well. I don't know where they got this one from either. I can't tell if it's a bootleg of somebody else's figure because I don't ever recall seeing this thing before. It's pretty crazy looking too. But the actual sculpt in detail doesn't look bad. Definitely not half bad for a dollar. I keep saying that, but it really impresses me when I saw these guys. I was like, wow, those things look pretty darn cool for a buck. I definitely wanted to buy some, so I grabbed a whole bunch of them right away, and uh, I'm really quite looking forward to getting started on repainting some of these guys, which will definitely be a future video at some point when I have these guys all nicely done and repainted up. I will post a video probably wait till they're all done and then just post a video of all of them repainted. One unfortunate thing for all of these figures though is that you get this ugly seam that runs down the middle of the body, which is a somewhat uh, somewhat of an annoyance, but it's not that bad, I guess. But either way, still pretty cool looking. Then there's a Stegosaurus, and even though he's a little over the top weird looking, as far as the sculpt and detail goes, it's beautiful, and I think this guy might be my favorite. This one or the Dilophosaurus, probably. But, uh, either way, it looks pretty nice. The detail on the actual plates isn't that great, but the detail of the skin looks pretty good, and I really like the head. I think the head looks very nice, and will look very cool when it's repainted, so it's not terrible. Not the best Stegosaurus I've ever seen, but it's not that bad, and the actual color scheme that's on it is kind of nice. It's pretty vibrant and bright, gives it a very cool, striking appearance, but I think I could probably make it a lot more realistic looking and will try my best to do such. Then there's this guy, but I don't know honestly what this thing is supposed to be. Uh, I kind of see the little bit of a hook jaw, so I assume maybe a baryonyx, but I really don't know. He has kind of a cool paint scheme, being yellow and some black stripes. He has a little bit more, in my opinion, to him as far as paint goes, just simply with that, than a lot of the other ones did. The teeth are, again, as usual, very sloppily painted, 
The eye is a little sloppy, but doesn't look terrible on this guy. Something about him, though, he has his own little charm. He's kind of cool looking. So, I did kind of dig him. And I am greatly looking forward to repainting this one as well. Even though I really don't even know what the heck kind of dinosaur he is supposed to be. Uh, I don't know. I assumed a Baryonyx, but you can see he doesn't have the big Baryonyx claw on his hands. So, I don't know exactly. But either way, he'll still be pretty fun. And then we have the T-Rex, which was shocking to me that the T-Rex would turn out looking kind of ugly. Because all these other ones look fairly decent. He's even got the tripod, sort of position he's kind of in the correct stance like he's hunched over like he should be but the tail is dragging on the ground no idea why but then we get this little uh, card here I ripped them off all the other ones but I'll show you guys now I kept one on for you to see that it is called nature world and the company I guess is called Bowley that actually has stolen some of these but made these figures throwing them out into Walmart for a buck each the T-Rex also kind of looks cool He's got some big, gigantic, dopey-looking teeth. His mouth is wide open. He looks super awkward. Don't know where they got the sculpt from from this guy either. I don't know if they actually created some of these sculpts or not, or if they're all stolen from other dinosaur figures. I have no idea. But the Tyrannosaurus doesn't look terrible, I guess. He's got some fairly nicely done detail. The actual scales and stuff look pretty cool. So I have no idea on the origins of this guy. Don't really like his tail dragging on the ground. But, he'll still be pretty fun to give a repaint to. Especially if I can try to give him maybe like a vintage look with the tail dragging. He might still look pretty neat. So, for a dollar each, you're getting a pretty good bargain on these guys. Regardless of the fact that they are still just child toys. They are made of a rubber material and they are hollow so they're not super high quality. But they have a lot of significant, nicely done detail in the sculpts, in my opinion. So it's something like I've mentioned already. Uh, that could be fun to repaint. Definitely a very cool choice to go ahead and start practicing repainting on. I am not really going to measure each one of these. There's no chance it'll take me all day and you guys will probably be asleep by the time I was done. I will, however, run a tape measure across the screen here up above. So you can get a good idea of the size. They're not small figures. They're pretty decently sized. And I'll throw in Mr. Papo T-Rex right there so you can get a good idea of the size of them. Not super huge, but not small by any means. Definitely a pretty nice size. For a dollar, you can't go wrong. So these figures are not the most accurate. They're not the most scientifically accurate for sure. They're definitely not the most high quality figure that you're going to find on the market. But they're still surprisingly not bad. And they impressed me enough that I figured I'd throw them up here for a review for you guys to see and maybe run to your local Walmart and I figured it would be a great chance for a lot of you guys to practice your repainting ability as I've heard numerous numerous people already mentioned that they wanted to start repainting figures but they thought that they were terrible at it or whatever so this is a great chance to buy something uh, with some good detail that would be a lot of fun to practice repainting on and hone your skill and see how you can do like I mentioned numerous, numerous times already, a dollar at Walmart, so go ahead, check your local Walmart. I highly doubt they're on the website because Walmart.com pretty much is terrible at putting anything that's dinosaur related on their website. So go ahead, check your local Walmart, see if you can grab a couple of these guys today. There are a few other species there that I was unable to grab. I know a Spinosaurus, a Triceratops, and there might be, a, I think there was like a Brachiosaurus and a Patasaurus, a couple others that are also there. I just didn't grab because... Uh, I just really had enough already and I might grab at some point in the near future and repaint those as well who knows either way check your local Walmart buy them start repainting guys and please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next review thanks for watching